Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us. This is Anonymous Alcoholics. We are very excited to show you how to make the ever-popular, brought to the United States, beverage by Orson Welles, and it's called the Negroni. Step number one, admit you are thirsty. I am a man of powerful thirsts, so I am pretty much always thirsty. Uh, hot damn, I'm thirsty. Number two is what we like to refer to as ITS. ITS. Ice to shaker. You're going to take a classic steel uh, shaker and maybe a half of it. Pull it up halfway with ice cubes. Once again, using the urn of my great grandfather that I was able to convert with my welding skills into a shaker. It's also worth mentioning that that shaker is charcoal filtered. Yes, there's some residue of my great grandfather trapped in the shaker. Step number three add one jigger of gin. Would you like to tell us a little bit about the history of gin? Gin is distilled from juniper berries, which is in the conifer family of the tree world. This, this gin is very expensive. It was a gift. I didn't pay for it myself. But a jigger is an ounce and a half, so you want to add one jigger to your shaker and then pass it along. This is Death's Door Gin. It's made in Death's Door, Wisconsin. I recently watched a movie with Matthew McConaughey and the leading lady role, uh, her name was Juniper. So I realized that might have been a Jen reference in the movie. It also starred Steve Buscemi and uh, a couple of the favorite actors yeah. of yours. Right? Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson. Uh, Merle Haggard. Mickey Rourke, Merle Haggard. Orson Welles. Right? That's true. Okay, step number four is you're going to add one jigger of Campari, an extremely bitter Italian liqueur. One jigger of Campari. This is really what sealed the deal for Orson Welles back in the 1940s. It's the aromatic, very abundant, sort of flavorful fruit flavors of the Campari. I can't help but think of a calamari. Sounds very similar. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a reference to calamari, which is tiny little baby octo octopi. Well, it's got sort of a squid-like nose right. to it. That's uh, that's kind of deep fried octopi infused. All right, step number five. We're gonna add one jigger of sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth is a fortified wine. There are many available. If I were you, I would recommend buying the cheapest available sweet Vermouth. You're going to add one and a, one jigger, which is an ounce and a half, to the shaker. All right, now we have all our ingredients. What you're going to do is seal your shaker, and you're going to furiously shake it. You want to do this with, a, with no small amount of vigor. You want to make sure this is icy cold. It should be noted that you do not want to hang on to the body of your shaker for fear of frostbite. Similar to when someone touches their tongue to a frozen pole in a deep Chicago winter. Okay. Step number seven. We're going to go with I-T-G. Ice to glass. Ice to glass. I-T-G. We'll fill it up about halfway. It's worth mentioning that you don't touch the ice with your, your bare fingers. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't I'm sorry. Sorry. Since I'm last, I can touch the ice with my bare fingers. Do you talk to your wife that way? So that brings us to step number eight. What we're going to be doing now is pouring our Negroni over the rocks glass. 
and swift. I, uh, mine's foaming. He yeah, gives a normal. He gives some effervescence. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a little effervescence. <laughs> Negroni soda. Moving straight into step number nine. I like to, before I drink the Negroni, uh, I like to say, I like to salute Orson Welles, great director, like, uh, my friend was mentioning. War of the Worlds. He also directed yeah, the Breakfast Club. Didn't he uh, direct the Breakfast Club? Cameo Club? on Sesame Street. Yeah. On here, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, Pretty, Pretty in Pink. Actor. Great actor. Rosebud. 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 Yeah. Rosebud. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. Rosebud right. was the, uh... Okay. Airbud. Step number nine. So delicious. <laughs> Salute. Orson Welles, Orson Welles, director of many fine films. Uh, number ten is you're gonna clink glasses with a good friend. You want to establish eye contact. You have full eye contact. Do not establish eye contact unless, of course, uh, no eye contact is specified before clinking glasses with my friend. I think you speak me to step eleven, which is drink, drink Negroni. Negroni. <laughs> Tastes a little bit like cough syrup without sugar. Oh, I feel alive. <laughs> oh. It's amazing. It's a really good beverage for a 48 degree summer day. <sighs> Still. <Stop>. Oh. <laughs> Step number 12. Repeat. Repeat. Step number 11. Thanks again for joining us for this special edition. Please join us next week where we teach you how to make a prolapsed juggalo. Alright, you know what? Go to your room. Go to your room.